Other nice editing features of Excel 2007 is the undo, redo, and repeat commands. You can undo and redo up to 100 actions in Microsoft Excel 2007. You can repeat an action as many times as you need. These commands make editing a worksheet much easier. Typical of other software applications, you can undo your previous actions. For instance, if you copy and then paste a range of cell into the wrong location on the worksheet, you can undo the paste action by clicking the undo button up in your quick access toolbar. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut of Control Z. You can initiate the undo command multiple times to step back through your actions, undoing each action of your development of the worksheet. The same is true for the redo action. Initiate the redo command to redo a step that you might want to repeat. And if you have performed multiple undos, you can step forward through each action redoing each undo. Notice I have a shopping list here on the screen. To apply this, let's say that I wanted to add another product to my shopping list. I'll go ahead and add orange juice. And I need two cans. And they'll come to maybe four dollars. I'll go ahead and enter that, and if I wanted to undo what I just did, again, I will come up here to my Quick Access Toolbar, click the Undo button, and notice it will step through all of my development, undoing each step, each step of data entry. If I wanted to redo that, notice that now, since I've undone done a few steps, I have the redo button visible and accessible. I'll go ahead and click that and notice I will redo all of my actions, stepping one product at a time and one data entry until I bring it back to where it was. Now some actions cannot be undone, like the save command. Notice if I come up here and I initiate a save, it will save this worksheet, and when I come back to my undo, it's saying, do you want to undo the typing of the number 4 in C12, not the save command. So, certain commands cannot be undone once you perform them. Now, the repeat command will repeat the last action or command that you initiate. The Quick Access Toolbar, by default, does not include the repeat command. You might want to add the repeat command to the Quick Access Toolbar. To do this, go ahead and click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button on the far right of the Quick Access Toolbar, and then pull down to More Commands, select that, and from More Commands, this should look familiar, we did this previously in the tutorial, you'll find the repeat command. Select it, go ahead and click the Add button, and it is now added to the Quick Access Toolbar. I'll go ahead and say OK, and notice that up here is the repeat command. The keyboard equivalent commands for redo and repeat is Control plus the Y key. You will find that these two commands work very much the same in how they function. Notice that if I apply italics to eggs here, it will italicize that, and then if I click on A5 for the milk content, I can come up here to my Quick Access Toolbar, and the Redo button is not accessible, but the Repeat command is, and if I select that, it will repeat the font formatting. I can now go through my list and just simply repeat it by clicking the repeat command. If I highlight a range of cells, I can also click just the repeat command to apply italics to all the content within that range. Just as some actions cannot be undone, the repeat command also has some limitations. Again, if you initiate a save, you cannot repeat this command. Notice that the repeat button up in the Quick Access Toolbar is still referencing repeating the font attribute of italics, not the save command. To apply what I've just demonstrated, let's again return to the product list worksheet, and we're going to develop our menu worksheet in more detail. I have open 0505 start file, which you can also use if you do not have your product list up to this point in the tutorial. Notice that it has the upgraded or the new listing of various products that we created in the previous movie. We're going to create some column headers for our 
product list. And the first one we want to create is in A2. So select cell A2 and let's go ahead and give it a column header of product. You might need to push your spacebar twice because it will try to remember product list and place that in A2 and if you use two spaces you will cause the list to disappear. Then go ahead and tab over to B2 by pressing your tab key and let's go ahead and type in here calories. And finally in C2, select C2, I tabbed over, you can click it or tab over to C2, let's go ahead and type in price. We have added our column headings at this point. If you make any mistakes as you add these column headings, feel free to undo and redo based on the actions that you have taken.